Today we've got round seven of the 2024 recent president spinner battle. Last time we did lose a big name, but hopefully there's still somebody else for you to root for or against. And we're down to six, four Democrats and two Republicans, and one of them is going to go home today. So let's get to the spins. Let's see what happens. We're going to start in Alaska. Here comes spin number one. Three electoral votes come at a number four. That's going to be Bill Clinton. The next state, it's Hawaii. Here comes another four. And that's a three, and that's going to go to Gerald Ford. Now we continue with the West Coast. We've got Washington. Good chunk of votes here, 12 of them. Come at a number five. That's George W. Bush. Next is Oregon. Here comes eight EVs. And that is number six. That's going to be Joe Biden with his first state. Next, it's California. There's nothing more crucial than seeing your number come up right here. This is quite possibly going to be a game changer. So let's do the spin. Here it is. Number one, we've got John F. Kennedy claiming California. Big lead for Kennedy early. Let's do Nevada. Here comes another six. Number three, Gerald Ford, the first one with two states. Next, it's Idaho. Let's give out another four votes. Number three again, Gerald Ford. Utah is next. Six votes in this beehive state. And that is number one. That's going to go to John F. Kennedy. Arizona is next. Eleven votes in the Grand Canyon state. Number three, Gerald Ford with his fourth state. Next, Montana. They've got four votes in Big Sky Country. Number two, Lyndon Johnson. That means everybody's in on round seven. Let's keep going to Wyoming. Only three votes here, but you never know. It could be the game winner. Number two, Lyndon Johnson. He's going back to back. Colorado is the next spin. Here comes another 10 votes. And that is a number six. That's going to go to Joe Biden. He's into double digits. Let's go to New Mexico. We've got five more votes. And that's a one, and that is going to Kennedy. Now we do North Dakota. Way up here, we've got three electoral votes. Over the line for number five, George W. Bush. South Dakota is next. Here comes another three votes. That's a six. It's going to J.B. Joe Biden. Nebraska at large, two electoral votes. And that is right on the line, but another one for Joe Biden. Nebraska's first congressional district, one vote, and that is three in a row for Biden, but he's only gotten six electoral votes to show for it. Let's do Nebraska's second congressional district, another vote, and another one for Joe Biden. Four in a row for Biden. Let's do Nebraska's third. And this last vote is going to go to number four, Bill Clinton. Next, Kansas. Six votes in the Sunflower State. And that is another one for Joe Biden. Biden having some success here. Let's go to Oklahoma. We've got another seven. That's going to be lucky for number six again, Joe Biden. Biden really piling it up in this first half. If you can't win a bunch of small states, you might as well win Texas. They've got 40 electoral votes. This is huge. Bush was governor here. Let's see if that affects the spinner. Here comes the spin. This is also Lyndon Johnson's home state. But it is a number four. That's going to go to Bill Clinton. He's tacking on another 40. Let's do Minnesota. Let's give out another 10 votes. Number five, George W. Bush. He's one state late, but he's got another 10. The next state is Iowa. We've got six here. Who's getting them? Number six, Joe Biden. He's got them. Missouri is next. They've got yet another 10 electoral votes. That's a one. That's going to JFK. Next, we've got Bill Clinton's home state of Arkansas. They've got six votes on the table. And they're going to go to number two, Lyndon Johnson. Louisiana is next. Here's eight votes. Number six, Joe Biden. That puts him at 52. Let's go to Wisconsin. Ten more. Here's the spin. Number five, George W. Bush. Illinois is next. 19 votes. Number two, we've got Lyndon Johnson claiming the land of Lincoln. Michigan is next. Gerald Ford's home state. Here it comes. 15 votes. 
That is a one. That's going to Kennedy. Kennedy at 90. Let's do Indiana. 11 more votes. Number one. Another one for Kennedy. Kentucky is next. Here comes eight votes. Number six. Joe Biden with another state. Tennessee is the next state. They've got 11 electoral votes. Here comes the spin. Number one. It's going to JFK. He's got another 11. Mississippi is next. Six more votes. Number six, another one for Biden. Alabama is next. Somebody's going to get another nine. And that is another one for Biden. Biden really claiming a lot of states in round seven. But he's still not even really close to Kennedy. Let's do Florida. We've got 30. Huge state. Huge spin. Here it is. Six again. Look at Joe Biden claiming a lot of electoral votes here. Now he is only slightly behind Kennedy. Georgia is next. We've got 16. Here it is. Number one, John F. Kennedy. He saw Biden closing in. He puts a little distance between them. Let's do South Carolina. They've got nine votes. Here's the spin. Number two, Lyndon Johnson. North Carolina has 16 votes. And that is number three, Gerald Ford. He's been quiet, but he's going to get another 16. The next state is Ohio. They've got a good amount of votes here. 17 coming to number two, Lyndon Johnson. West Virginia, that's the next spin. Four votes at stake. Number three, Gerald Ford. Now we go to Maine at large. We've got two votes. Here comes the spin. Number five, George W. Bush. Bush still in last place. Let's do Maine's first congressional district. One electoral vote. Number four, that is going to go to Bill Clinton. Next, it's Maine's second congressional district. And that is number one. That's going to go to Kennedy. Next, New Hampshire has four more electoral votes. That's going to be a three. That's going to go to Gerald Ford. Vermont is next. We've got another three votes. Here's the spin. Who's going to get them? Number five, George W. Bush. And now we've got New York, 28 electoral votes. Right now, it looks like Kennedy and Biden are moving on. Last place is George W. Bush with 40. He trails Bill Clinton by five. So four to five are the numbers to watch. This is a very significant spin, so let's get on with it. Here it is. Who's going to get them all? Number two, Lyndon Johnson. He claims the Empire State. Next, it's Massachusetts. This is Kennedy's home state. They've got 11 electoral votes. And that's a number five, George W. Bush. He was on the bottom. He claims a state. He gets 11 more votes, and that takes him two up from the bottom. Bill Clinton now on the bottom behind Gerald Ford. Let's go to Connecticut. They've got another lucky seven electoral votes. Here it is. That's a six. It's going to go to Biden. Rhode Island is next. Four votes. Number one. That's going to go to Kennedy. New Jersey is the next spin. Here comes... 14 votes. That is number four, Bill Clinton. He passes Gerald Ford for the bottom. And now Ford is on the bottom with 49. George W. Bush second from the bottom with 51. The next state is Biden's home state of Delaware. Here comes the spin for all three electoral votes. And that is a number three, Gerald Ford. He was on the bottom, but he gets another three, and now he's one ahead of George W. Bush. So right now, the only two Republicans left are slugging it out to avoid the bottom. Bill Clinton also still in danger. Let's do Maryland. They've got another 10 votes. Here comes the spin. That is number three, Gerald Ford. He's going to get another 10. He goes two in a row. Now George W. Bush is on the bottom. He trails Bill Clinton by eight. Washington, D.C. is the next spin. Here it comes. They've got three votes. That is a five. That's going to go to George W. Bush. It's not enough to get him off the bottom. He still trails Bill Clinton by five. He's got two more chances to put up a five. First is Pennsylvania. 19 votes. Here comes the spin. That is a five. Wow, George W. Bush, second to last spin. He goes two in a row. He picks up 19. 
And that means he is safe. He's going on to the next round. The spinner surprises yet again. Now Bill Clinton is back on the bottom. He has one chance to win the last state of Virginia. If he does, then Gerald Ford is going home. If it's not a four, Bill Clinton, he's taking the walk of shame. 13 votes, the final spin. Here it is. Is it a four? No, it is not. It is a three. That goes to Gerald Ford. He picks up the final state. He gets 13 more. And that was an exciting finish. The winner is John F. Kennedy with 133. Second place, Biden. He puts up a respectable 112. He got a ton of states. Third place, Lyndon Johnson with 86. Then Gerald Ford on that last state, he managed to get in fourth place with 75. Second from the bottom is George W. Bush with 73. So both Republicans managed to figure out a way to get to the next round. But all the way on the bottom this time, it's number four, Bill Clinton with 59. It looked like he was moving on until the very end. But this time, Slick Willie just not slick enough to overcome the spinner. So we got a great looking map here. We got Gerald Ford with a nice group of states right here. Other than that, I would guess Biden won the most states. His number six just seemed to keep coming up, but you never know next time he might do absolutely nothing. But that pretty much wraps up round seven. So let me know in the comments. Was Bill Clinton your pick to go all the way? Or are you excited to see him join the other losers? And what do you think about this map? Let me know your thoughts down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.